Hey, what's up everybody? In this tutorial, we will be learning how can we implement a pay per lead affiliate commission structure using Go High Level. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I have a real estate brokerage firm that wants to expand their client base. And in order to do so, they want to work with multiple marketing agencies as well as affiliate marketers so they can get leads through them and then compensate them commissions using the affiliate manager. So we're going to be diving into our Go High Level sub account. The idea is that we give a form to each of these marketing agencies or affiliate marketers. And when they share that form, if somebody fills out information and we get a valid lead from these guys, we have an affiliate commission structure in place so they can be compensated for that. So I'm in my Go High Level sub account right now. And as you can see under marketing, we we have an affiliate manager option right here. So I'm going to actually head over to campaign here so we can set up a brand new campaign for this. And then we're going to click on the add button right here. And then we'll have an option to select a source. Now the paper lead commission structure only works for the form service and calendars as of now. So I'm going to click on forms here because that is our goal. We will be sharing a form or mapping a form which each affiliate can share. And if that gets filled, we will have information of a lead and then they would be compensated for that. So we're going to select the source details here. And as you can see, this is the part where we select the form and we already have a form set up, which is real estate brokerage where we are collecting information, whether they are a seller or a buyer and based on that we are collecting some more information like their content info, what kind of house they're interested in buying or selling, and then all of that information is here. So I'm just going to select the form right here, and then you'll see that it will give you an idea of how the URL will look like based on the form that you selected. So once that is selected, I'm going to click on next here. And then you'll see the paper lead option is disabled by default. So we're just going to enable it. And you can also click here to see more information where it says the affiliate will be paid for each lead generated and not for sales for the products that are in your Go High Level sub account. So this is completely different. This is based on the form fills or based on the leads that we'll be getting from the form. So I'm just going to do a dollar commission for each lead. So that is what we will be paying to our affiliates. And then if you click on the advanced commission settings, you can also change the commission structure to either one tier and you can go all the way up to seven tier. So based on your requirements, you can select the appropriate tier structure. I'm just going to choose one tier for now and hit save. And then we're going to click on next. And then the next thing it will ask you is the campaign description, which is optional, but it never hurts to add it anyway. So I already have a writer, which I have pasted here, which talks about the benefits of this campaign and why anybody should become an affiliate. Once the description is done, we can assign affiliates right away, or we can also do this step later. As you can see, it is grayed out because I do not have any contact in this sub account as this is a brand new one. So we can do this step later. And then we have under additional settings, two more options, which is an email template. So there is a default template that goes out to each affiliate once we add them here. You you can always change it with the customized one and then we also have a cookie live so you can also play around with it based on your requirements once this is all done we're good to go all we have to do is hit finish now and then click on publish once the campaign is created you'll see it like this and now it's time to add in our affiliate so i'll just head over to the affiliate manager then click on affiliate then click on add and then we have three options. So the new affiliate is where you can manually add the person in their details, like their email, first name, last name, company, and then assign them to the campaign here. I'm just going to add in some details So for the company name. I have chosen ABC marketing. Let's say this is the first marketing company that is working on paper lead model for us. So let's put that name here and then I'm going to click on done and you'll see that it will create the magic link for them. So you can copy it and send it to them. And then I'm adding in another affiliate, which is XYZ Real Estate Marketing. And then I'm also going to map them with my campaign and then just click on done here. And now we have a couple of affiliates that are mapped to the campaign that we created. Now we're just going to take you to the dashboard here just to show you how it looks like right now. So here you can see we have total revenue generated conversion customers. Right now we do not have anything, so it makes sense, but we're just going to test it in a few seconds to see how this will change. So let's head back to the affiliates now and I'll just show you an example uh, from the admin point of view. So now I'm just going to open Sam's profile from here and then copy his referral link. Now let's pretend that I'm Sam and I'm actually referring some person in or maybe I have this form on a Facebook ad that I'm running as a marketing agency to refer people in. So we'll just open that form. Then I'm just going to fill out this information here real quick. Once the information is filled out, I'm going to click on send. Now this form is being submitted under the affiliate Sam. So if I go back here and then if I head over to dashboard here, it should be reflecting that we have a lead. So under the dashboard, you'll of course not see it under the total revenue. But if I scroll it down, you'll see that we have one pending commission. And then we owe eight bucks to Sam's company, which we can see right here that a lead commission has been created for eight dollars. And if I come back here under top affiliate right now, by default, it says sort by revenue. But if I do sort by leads, 
you will actually be able to see your top affiliates in terms of who is referring you the most amount of leads out of all the affiliates that you have in your campaign. So you can see that Sam has been credited with one lead that we did get from him. Now, this is pretty amazing, but this also brings in an interesting question. So sometimes we would get some bogus leads or leads that will not be applicable. Maybe it's a dummy data and we definitely don't want to pay commissions for that, right? So how can we as a company be in charge of that process? So all we have to do is really simple. Under the affiliate manager, we'll head over to affiliates right here. And I'm going to open Sam's profile from here. And then if I scroll all the way down under commissions, you can see that this is the lead he was referring to. Now, because this is a test lead. Now, let's say I want to make a decision about this. So if you go to the very right, you have two options. So you have an option to deny this lead or even approve it. So if we approve it, that is when this lead will actually be counted or the commission will be actually counted. And if I disapprove it or deny it, the affiliate will not be getting a commission for that. And of course, if you accidentally do it, you can always come back and you know approve it if you need to. So this is how you can still be in charge of this process, just making sure that you're not paying commissions for leads that are not actual leads, right? So this is how you can actually effectively manage a campaign. And especially in this case where we have a real estate brokerage firm and they will be working with multiple affiliates as well as marketing agencies. So this will make sure that they're fully in charge of the process. They can approve or disapprove leads and then only pay for the leads that are relevant. And this way they can expand their client base without having to pay hefty commissions or wait for people to give them solid deals. This way they have more leads coming in in-house and they can effectively put together a good sales team to convert them better and effectively move their business forward. So that was about this video. That is how you can effectively put a pay per lead commission structure in place using Go High Level. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we'll get